Hello everyone and welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. We continue where we left off the last time. We still have uh, an angler without cause. We need to get the fish meat uh, back to... Let me see, where was it? In Borowo. Okay, that's... Uh, oh yeah, that has to do with uh, that... Uh, let me see, what's the quickest way? We could walk, we could walk to Tutkian. Pick up a card. Well, you know what? Let's uh, let's walk to Borobo. Why not? Uh, no, we don't have to walk. We have our donkey, of course. Yeah. Let's uh, saddle up. And, well, maybe I need a little bit of food first. Let's, uh, let's pick something for along the way that we can eat a little bit. We can, of course, drink. That's not a problem. There we go. Now let's see what we pick up... Uh, storage here uh we could pick up the beetroot some other poor condition stuff why not oh that's the only thing that's really uh we have a stew let's pick that up yeah and some dried uh, meat why not let's uh let's pick up 10 that should do it i guess we could uh, eat a little bit perhaps oh inventory yep there we go uh, the beetroot I can eat. There we go. How much does the stew give us? That's 25 food. Okay, that's not really much. And 10 water. Well, we can eat that. There we go. So. And the dried meat. It's 7 food every time. So we should be fine for now. We still have 7. Uh, we have some stuff that we can sell. Flat straw hat and... Two fur boots. Is that, I don't think there's anything else. No, they didn't start working yet. Uh, directions. This way. Yeah. Our donkey should be here. Yes, there he is. You coming along with me? Yes, you are. So let's uh, let's head out and let's see if we can get that crossbow back that's what it was all about and we do have a nice crossbow but he wants its own crossbow I think we already uh, saw this card nothing there to see anymore okay it's going a little bit faster but not that much faster now it's of course Donkey can't run as fast as a horse. That's uh, it makes sense. Let's uh, walk normally. Oh, again, a beautiful view of that uh, that mountain in the back. I mean, the the graphics keeps amazing in this game. Uh, every time you see those beautiful uh, landscapes. No, I don't think there is much uh, that we will encounter along the way. Ah, we have the barn number two unlocked. Okay, that's good. That means we have to build more houses and... Oh, there's a potion card. I think we didn't have seen this one. So let's uh, check that out. Potion of strength, potion of sobriety, instant healing number two. And that's a night vision over here. Yep. And what do we have in here? Poison. Sure. You never know when it comes in handy. So, my friend, we are going to continue. Don't see any woodcutters camp or whatsoever here. Okay.
Yeah, don't worry, we're almost there. I know it's very far, but Donkey protests a little bit. Let's uh, let you walk normally for a little while so you can get your stamina back. There we go. Full speed ahead. Let's check if there's a card here. Yes, there is. Okay, and we didn't pick it up yet, so let's do that also. A little bit of wheat. Uh, do we get some equipment like a sickle or... No, it doesn't seem like it. Just the wheat. Ah, well, that's a little bit of a shame, but at least it's something. So, let's talk to Ida, and then we take a card back to uh, Jeserica, otherwise. Well, we might go over the river to uh, Gostovia, pick up a card there. That's a little bit closer than uh, doing it from this uh, village. Uh, let me see, she must be somewhere near here. I think she's walking over there. Ida, uh, do you have it? I've got your fish. Take it. And what happened to your manners? They went where the sun do don't shine. Give me the crossbow. Here, finally. Bye. Wait, don't you want to know what I need to fish for? Maybe another time. Okay. There we go. Now get the crossbow to Damagoy. It always, uh, it looks like it always got twice the announcement that you finished something. You hear the sound twice. Probably, yeah, I'm playing the, the preliminary vers uh, version of the game. This one needs to be the next release candidate, so to say. But I think uh, there are a few little bugs in there. That's okay. Hello, pal. I'd like to go um, to uh, Jazerica, I think it was. I'm not even sure. I think it was Jazerica. Uh, yes, it must be. Sure, hop on. Okay, let's go. Yeah, we're down to 74 meters, so... And then probably see Crystal after this. Now we don't have to go back to that camp because we already cleared it out. Maybe we sh should let him know. That I'm not sure that he can come, but... So, let's see. He's probably... Yeah, he's in the water again. Okay. Listen up, pal. I got your crossbow. Now we don't need to drink the water. Damagoy. Damagoy. Hello. There we go. Hey you, recognize this? My old crossbow, how did you get it? I've awoken my inner angler. I think I don't want to ask for details. The only thing that matters is that it's back in my hands. Tell Kestrel that I'm ready when she is. I will do. Okay. Uh, deliver to Kestrel. 500 coins, 20 dried meat, and what? Okay, we need to pick up 20 dried meat. And what kind of meat do I? Oh, dried fish meat. Yeah, okay. So we have to go back to our village. To pick up the dried meat. Because I'm not sure we can buy that so easily. So let's see how far it's back home. Uh, we could take a car to Denica and pick it up from there. I think that's the quickest way to do. We have plenty of money, so that's... Uh... Oh yeah, we could sell... Oh, we could sell in Danica. Let's uh, talk with you first. Hello. I need a ride to Danica. That's 320. Let's go. I have still a few fur, fur boots and some other stuff that I can sell. So let's do that.
Uh, maybe she has dried fish meat here. There is a kitchen. But I doubt that she has enough. How is life treating you? My wares never disappoint. No, she's only 14. Uh, dried meat, she's only 12. So that uh, won't help us much. Let's uh, sell the... Wait, is that our own head? No, we had the cap on, so it's not our own. I hope. Uh, she doesn't have the money to buy the rest of our stuff. Well, you can buy at least a potion. Don't mix it uh, through your uh, other stuff. That is healing. Night vision. Yep. Sobriety. Uh, maybe we keep that. You never know. That's about it. Yep. Okay, let's uh, have, a good day. have a good day. You too. Uh, let's go to the seamstress here. She will probably buy our... Well, that is if she was here. Where are you? Um, no. Let me see in the top. She's somewhere around there. Oh, uh, that's her. Matilda. Hail, friend. Hello, Give I got some fur boots for you. There we go. That was it. Have Thank you. Day. Yeah, you too. She sounded like, oh, you again with your fur boots. Okay, let's go. We'll see how far we get this season. Not sure if we can do all of it. I don't think so. I think we already picked up everything here. Yeah, there's no logs or axes laying around. So let's pick up the, the dried fish meat and head out of uh, here back to Hornica. Give the donkey a little bit of a rest. gonna park you here on this piece of uh, grass you eat a little bit if you want to okay 20 dried meat that's dried fish meat i guess we don't have any dried meat left uh, do we well then we have to make some ourselves 20 meat we go here we are crafts 20 that's it uh, now we head over to crystal uh, I think we go back to Danica and from there we pick a card. That's the, the quickest way to do this. And then, of course, we still have to upgrade our barn. Also important. So we have some building to do, but that's fine. I mean, the more building points we get, the better, because there are some... Okay, the, the donkey is a little bit tired. Uh, let's give him a chance to recover his stamina.
Uh, let's have a talk. Very well. I need the ride to Hornica. 440. Okay. I mean, that quick travel is uh, really a big bonus in this game. Uh, in, the, in the beginning it wasn't there, but yeah, then you have to walk all over the map. That would take some time. Oh, not uh, many people sitting here, uh, to be honest. I'm a little bit surprised. But let's uh, check where... There she is, Kestrel. Hello. What's the status? All right, I have all the supplies we need. Great, and what about Damagoy? I convinced him. He is waiting for your signal. Very good, and I've managed to get us a horse. L looks like we have everything that we need. That's right. Let's not waste any more time then. Go to the medic and tell him that everything... We'll be waiting for him in Hornica as soon as he gives you the name. Wish me luck. Okay, yeah, we have still have to talk to uh, Dieter. Not what I wanted. I want to get onto this. And 339 meters. Well, we go through. There we go. Yeah, that, like I said, it's uh, you get a double announcement that something has been. We need to go in this direction, okay. Moose. There we go. There we are. Let's uh, get down here. Oh, there he is. Uh, let's talk. If you are a bandit, better go back. Everything is ready and waiting you awaiting you in Hornica. And how can I be sure to trust you? Because I'm Jordan's blood. And same as him, I always keep my word. Damn you, son. If it wasn't for those eyes. Fine, I'll tell you what I know. Then I'm out of here and I advise you to do the same. Just tell me. I was awakened in the middle of the night. A cloaked man said there, that there had been an accident and someone was in need of my attention. I wasn't thinking much of it. That's part of my duty and I was half asleep on top of that. So I grabbed my mantle and walked out with the stranger. Rain was pouring down from the sky so heavily it almost hurt. I've realized that the man was talking... Uh, try that again. I realized that the man was talking me to the cast... Talking and taking? Okay. I realized that the man was taking me to the Castellan's house. I asked him about it and he confirmed. The accident happened to the Castellan, he said. His voice was so faint, I could barely understand him. We went into the house and there I saw Jordan. It was clear to me that I've been lied to. I wanted to run, but the cloaked man blocked the way out. Why was it clear? What did you see? Jordan's throat was sliced open. He looked peaceful, as if he was sleeping. His eyes were closed. The wound was elegant. The cut was really precise. I wonder if Jordan had even realized he was dying. The man spoke to me with the same faint voice as before. He told me to burn the body as soon as the rain stopped. That way I won't even need to lie because everybody will presume a disease. So that's exactly what I did. And he helped me. Helped me move the body and light it up. Helped me scrub the blood off the floor and burn the sheets. He was very polite. Calm but not cold. In the end he asked me if I needed to threaten me with that, I denied. It was clear to me, me from the moment I saw the blood. I went back to my affairs and never told anything about it to anyone. Then a couple of weeks later, I've run from Kostovia, fearing for my life. Why? Why only after weeks? Because the man in the cloak became the castellan himself. No. No, 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 no. No. Cannot be. I'm sorry, my child. You're lying. He would have never done it. I'm sorry. What was his name? You know his name. Tell me his name. 
Unicost. Talk to Unicost. Okay, well, there we go. Uh, there's nothing here more for us to pick up. We already did that. I don't think we can. No, those two. So now we talk to Unicost. See what this is all about. Do we simply ride to there? Yeah, we could do that. Why not? We have the direction. What time is it? It's four o'clock. Okay, might be running out of time. Maybe. Not sure. Let's see what we can do. Now, where are we exactly? Uh, we could take the path here. That might be a little bit quicker than going through the mountain. So let's take a turn to the right here. Who knows, maybe we find something along the way. Uh, I think we need to go this direction. Wolf, Weissant, Crow, okay. Oh, there's a wolf. You keep running. I think we're good. No, we're not. Keep running. Keep running. I think we lost them. Just in time. It would have been easier with the horse, because the horse is a little bit quicker. But I think we do fine. Okay, let's go along here. Anything to see here? Not really, let's continue. We don't have that much time left. Uh, Costovia, this direction. It says at least, let's see, yeah, that makes sense. Basically where we started the game, I think. Yeah. This is the path where we... Uh, entered the valley, so to speak of. Oh, you're getting a little bit tired again. Is that all? No, we still have also the quest... Uh, oh, we have the technology. Yeah, that was the barn. If I'm not mistaken. Hunters, the herbalist hut also uh, comes along nicely. Anything else? That's the barn. 2000 for the stable. That's 500 points. Okay. And yeah, the market stall will take some time. We need more production points for that. Okay. So probably produce a little bit more food. So let's see if we can talk to Unigos. There he is. Uh. Unigos, hello there, dear Asimir. Hello. How's life treating you? Like a father. What do you mean? Strict but fair, I guess. Very mature of you to say. You really are grown. Seeing more and more of those shades of grey, huh? I do, but grey still comes. <laughs> Sists of black and white, things are still good and bad, right and wrong. It doesn't change that. I never said it does. Tell me more about my uncle. Hmm, I'm not sure I have the time for stories. I'm certain you will find some. Alright, maybe one story. Ha, I just remember the good one. Me, Jordan and Wurat. We tried to catch those roosters who swallowed a bunch of pearls and... Tell me about his dad. Oh, Razimir, I've told you already that he passed away in his sleep. But people don't usually just die during sleep, do they? <laughs> Time is merciless, Jordan. Jordan was an old man already. Did he die of old age then? No. A disease? Some ravaging sickness? No. Then how come he didn't wake up the next morning? Razimir, I've never lied to you. So why start now, hmm? I knew this day would come. Finding words to describe it, to explain, it seems abstract, undoable, but the silence has been burning a hole in my chest for far too long. I did it, Rasimir, I killed my best friend, my brother. 
Don't call him that. I understand your pain, your feeling of betrayal, but I'm begging you, believe me, that this brought me no pleasure whatsoever. Why? It's complicated. Was it greed? You wanted to be the Castellan instead of him? Was it jealousy? Living all these years in Jordan's shadow, the sense of inferiority must have been constant for you. Was it vengeance for how he toyed with Kestrel for robbing you of your only true love? Uh, was it greed? No, not at all, son. I am not your bloody son. You are not my family. Jordan was. Forgive me, you are right. I never cared for the title, nor the job that comes with it. I only did it because somebody had to. And I tried to make the good name of Jordan live on the way. Pick up the responsibilities he had left. He didn't leave them. You tore him away from them. Yes, I believe I did. Uh, was it jealousy? It wasn't easy, being rather Jordan's friend than myself, but I didn't blame him for it. He was a star, bright, shining, always in the center of attention. It was his nature, not mine. I was comfortable in the shade, safe, and it was my fault for getting too attached to it, so much that I was afraid of leaving it comfort. Didn't you envy his skills, his mind? Of course I did. We all did. Jordan was a genius. Who wouldn't want that? The question is, who would kill, who would kill for it? Probably many, but that wasn't the case for me. I was always proud of being able to know him, to work, to work with him. Was it vengeance? How he, oh, he toyed with Castro. If you're looking for a reason, I hated him for, you found one. But I didn't kill him out of hatred. What he did to Castro was awful. But he didn't try to be cruel. Besides, every part of his love triangle was hurting someone. We're all to blame. What about the baby? You could have been a father. It doesn't matter who was the father. This beautiful boy didn't draw even one breath of air. His life was over before it began. That's the real tragedy. Uh, I'm not going to tell him. You're right, it is. May he rest in peace. Uh, so, why did you do it? Out of fear of Jordan's doing, of what he, was, what he could become after he killed that man in Navis. I stayed with him when everyone else left, but I couldn't stop thinking about what he did, how little it bothered him. He was angry at them for breaking up the pack, but he didn't see his fault in it. And what, and what was the worst? He didn't even seem troubled by taking a man's life. That's when I started wondering, has he done that before? Jordan didn't want to stop the mission. I convinced him that it was time for it and that we should move to the valley. I thought we could put, put all of what happened behind us, just rest and try to find happiness in these little things. But Jordan had a restless mind. For him, not moving up, not breaking another barrier was torture. When we arrived here, there was only a couple of villages. We built ourselves a house in Kostovia. I truly believe that this would be enough, but not for Jordan. A week had not passed when he declared that he wanted to travel and meet the king, and that he planned on doing it alone. Two weeks later he came back as the new castellan of the valley. He moved into his own house, for appearances as he called it. Since that moment he was getting more and more distant from me, from anyone really. It had it been seeing him walking around Kostovia like a true leader, shaking hands, hugging babies, making small talk, always a big smile on his face. He really seemed great, if you didn't know what was hiding behind that smile. We were living right next to each other, and yet another after some time, we were talking only a couple of times a year. He was afraid of me, afraid of his moral compass. He didn't want me to restrict him anymore. Consciousness was a burden, so he got rid of it entirely. And that's when, excuse me, that's when his worst side took control of him. I didn't see a shred of sin sincerity left, just a constant mask. 
Years went by. He was going more and more often to meet with the king. So one day I started a little investigation and what I found out sickened me. Jordan has become the very thing he swore to eradicate. A festered lord whoring around with his filthy friends, getting rich of people's misery. And he, he was benefiting from wars, selling weapons, taking hands with rapists, just to be in their good graces. He had to be stopped. It took me months, years to get to it. And I feel responsible for every wrong that he has done during this time. I should not have hesitated, but killed with my own but killing my own brother, it felt unimaginable. Yet I knew I was the only one who could do it. I sneaked into his house during heavy rain. I sneaked into his house during heavy rain. He was sleeping so peacefully as if he was as if all the sinister thoughts had left him for the night. I was staring at his face for what felt like ages before I took out my blade. Made one clean cut and it was over. He didn't even open his eyes. And just like that it was done. You know that's going to happen now, right? You will pay for what you've done. I do. And I'm not going to fight it. Whatever you decide, I will accept. I understand you, your reasons. I require a strong... It requires a strong will and good heart to do what you did, but the blood has been spilled. You should leave the valley and never come back. You don't deserve forgiveness. Killing your family just because you think it's right. But I will not let you die a self-proclaimed martyr. Uh, you were right. Everything is soaked in grey. Don't condemn you for your decision. However, you took a man's life and by law of the king, it's punishable by death. You're a murderer. No one lies Okay, let's uh, let him go. Let's go for one. I never had a chance to meet my uncle. To judge his character on my own. But I got to know you, Unigost. And though I do not condone your actions, I understand the reasons. To be a man is not to never err, but to make hard decisions when they are necessary. You made yours. And it's something you will need to live with for the rest of your life. As will I. We completed Unico's story. Okay. Uh, what time is it in the meantime? It's okay. Not quite. Uh, no need to go back because uh, it's the end of the season. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to end uh, the episode here, wait until the season change and then we'll pick it up from there. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And hopefully until the next time. Bye for now.